Ahoy! This is the first episode of the 1 minute frequently asked questions video series. These are the questions I'm going to answer in this one. How do you prevent the screen from shaking so much? Go to the game tab of the options menu and look for the tick box called stabilize image. This is what it looks like without stabilization. And this is what it looks like with stabilization enabled. How do you get skill amp, critical rate and maximum critical rate scrolls? One way is to extract items. From what I've heard they can only be obtained if the item you extract is plus 7 at least. I'm not entirely sure if they have to be plus 7 but they are certainly rare. Another way is opening scroll cubes, like the ones you can exchange your DP for, the ones you get for finishing 10 runs of a certain dungeon and the ones for the daily quests of Tower of the Dead B3F. And of course there are various events that give you bosses to hunt or loot boxes to open which might have those in them. How many people can enter that dungeon? How many DP does it give? Well if you are confused about any of that, open the Cabal menu, look for the dungeon tab and open the dungeon info window. You can find those values for every single dungeon in the game. How come you can zoom out your camera so much? Go to the options, select the game tab and uncheck the limit maximum zoom out option. Now you can also do this. Just to compare it a bit, that's how much difference it makes in certain places, but remember some dungeons or maps have roofs that prevent you from zooming out more, even with this option. Why does my FPS drop low after playing for a while and how do I fix it? Well I'm not entirely sure why, but it's usually caused by the guild emblems. Go to the options, display and disable the option to see guild names and emblems. You will still see it if you hover your mouse over someone and that also might cause FPS drops if you are one of the few unfortunate players who suffer from this issue. Why did you switch back to wizard again? How did you do that at level 200? And which class is better? Well the answer is simple, after playing Force Archer for a while it turned out I just didn't like it as much as wizard. So there's nothing wrong with Archer, it's just a matter of personal preference. As to how I did it at level 200, the battle style change kit in the European server can be used at level 200 and I am aware that some other servers have level limit for that. Which one is better? Well, neither. They are entirely different and there are areas where wizard can easily beat archer and other situations when an archer would beat wizard. The main difference is, force archer is a support class that is focused on buffs, healing and staying outside of the attack range of most enemies. Wizard can deal a lot more damage with the same set but also dies a lot more easily and can't support the party so much. Anyway, that's it for today. If you have any questions you'd like to see featured in the next episode, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments. Ahoy!